Ah, hey fellas. I am back from vacation and ready to start modeling again. And this is gonna be a, uh, another conversion. So I'm starting off with the F-102 Delta Dagger in 148 scale. It's an old monogram kit. And uh, the guy that I'm building this for is a big fan of the, uh, the F-102. And since there isn't a kit, for the TF-102A, which is the, the two-seat training version of it. He uh, sent this along with it. It's the CNH Aero Miniatures TF-102A resin conversion. And uh, I didn't know much about this uh, before he sent it to me. And I can't find anywhere online where anybody's actually built this. So uh, I think this will be the first one on YouTube, which is kind of like, kind of the way I like to do things is... Uh, you know, I don't put like normal builds up there. In fact, uh, before I left on vacation, I did the uh, the uh, one thirty second scale to me a course here, and uh, you know, it was such a simple build, I didn't bother putting that one up. But uh, I'm gonna do a, a full build video on this, much like I did the privateer build, and uh, kind of show you how this uh, pans out. Hopefully. Hopefully the fit, the issues that I experienced with the privateer won't be as bad with this one. Uh, the, the, the actual monogram kit's kind of warped, and you'll get to see that here in a minute. But, uh, you know, I, I, this isn't definitely going to, definitely isn't going to be an easy build, but I don't think it's going to be as difficult as the privateer was. There were, there's a lot less parts in this one. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so here's what comes with the kit. And what I do like about this one is it comes with a lot of uh, instructions. I mean, it's not, it's not as clear as what you would normally get with a plastic kit, but it does come with uh, a lot of ins instructions. The resin seems to be cast pretty well. I didn't see any air bubbles in this one. Uh, but then again, when you start sanding it, you know, some of those tend to pop up. But this is everything that comes in the resin conversion. Uh, for the clear parts, they've got the vacuum form canopies. They do give you two. And I've already started working on the canopy. I wanted to get that squared away because yeah, I'm, I'm not real good with working with vacuum form parts. And uh, it's kind of one of the, the more difficult things for me. So I've already started working on that. And I've got um, the front and the back canopy all cut out and pretty close to where I want them as far as uh, getting them cut away from from all the carrier plastic. Now they do supply this little back piece and they do supply some like cam, uh, not all the canopy framing, but a lot of it uh, in, in resin. And I've got this back part cut out. And fortunately the owner wants it with the cockpit open. So uh, it doesn't fit real well if you were gonna close it up. If you can see right there, it just, it doesn't fit real well. But with it being open, you're not gonna notice. Uh, the front part here, it does line up pretty well. Of course, you can do some fitment and stuff um, if you wanted to close it up. But as far as the, the back area, it would take a lot of work to get this uh, closed up. So I've got that going. Um, the cockpit tub is pretty detailed. And then it comes with two ejection seats and looks like the top piece is broken off all but one so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix those but uh what it's gonna have you do is cut out this section here and the guy that i'm building this for wants the the missile bays open so uh, i'm gonna there's probably probably gonna be a lot of fit issues when it comes to that but uh, there's, it's going to take a lot of working and cleaning out the inside of this to get this uh, cockpit tub in there. And the instructions tell you, hey, you're going to need to do a lot of, a lot of fitting to get this to fit in there. Because I'm going to have this and the front wheel bay in there. And it's just going to, I don't know if you can see inside of there real well, but there's going to be a lot of drumbling out material to get this to fit in there correctly. And uh, so that's kind of what that looks like. Uh, this piece, it's pretty well molded. And then you've got the instrument panel and in resin that fits up in there. Just going to take a little bit of cleanup. Uh, your left and right intakes. 
and they just glue onto here. Now, the actual plastic kit, I've started gluing it together. And if you can see here, this is really warped and it's this old monogram plastic. It's um, not the best stuff to work with. So I've went ahead and I've glued the, the rear and the back together. And then I'm just gonna have to carefully try to get this in there and glue it a little bit at a time. And I think that will take that warp out. So what the instructions call for is to cut along, let's see, you've got, uh, see if we can find the panel line to cut, but I've got to cut along one of these panel lines. I think it might be, doo -doo 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 -doo, like maybe this one. So I'm just gonna have to cut this along here, but I'm gonna glue it first so I can get it all nice and tight. And then I'll do my cutting. And then this should just fit into there. So that, it, just looking at it, eyeballing it, it almost doesn't look like, it looks like this might be a little bit wider, but I won't really know until I cut it open and, and figure that out. So it looks like almost cut along this panel line here. So, um, but we'll, uh, we'll tackle that when I, when I get to that. And I haven't even looked at all the parts for, for the kit, uh, the monogram kit so I'm sure I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of fitting and, and test fitting and, and hopefully the privateer build give me gave me a, uh, provided me with a lot of skills so this one hopefully won't be as, as, as difficult as that other one so I'm gonna get to work on this I'm gonna probably get these canopy frames and all the, the canopy all done before I start going in and tackling uh, cutting the fuselage and uh, just because I, I want this to be pretty clean and uh, my experience with with uh, vacuum forming it's very hard to get it all clean for me so I will uh, catch you in a bit all right I've got all my openings cut out I took my Dremel tool and uh, cut out the wheel bay opening I also cut out this section along the bottom and I had to do a lot of thinning with the Dremel tool to get it to mate up to where it's, uh, where it's got to mate up with the, the, uh, the wing portion. I also hogged out a ton of material with the Dremel on, uh, out of the inside here. And if you can see right along here along the bottom, you can kind of see the light showing through. It's because I, I cut out so much material. I got really thin right there along the wall. And, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I just had to be real careful, but I got pretty darn close right down here. So, uh, it's just one of the things you have to watch out for. There are a couple other spots where I got really close. Uh, what I ended up doing is I did most of my, my, uh, material removal with my Dremel tool and various bits. And then I ended up coming in here with a rounded X-Acto blade and just coming out, coming in and tweaking some areas that need to be, be tweaked, kind of trimming a little bit away at a time. And with this method, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't have been able to do this uh, with, I wouldn't have been able to get all this material out with the X-Acto blade, uh, but uh, w when you get down to the, the, the fine fitting, this is a perfect choice because it allows you to remove a, just a little bit of material at a time because I am so close, if you can see how thin this wall is here, it's almost like uh, almost like kit plastic right there, how thin I got it. But uh, this allows you to move a little bit of material so you don't go through, through the resin. But anyway, uh, the wheel bay, this is the kit wheel, wheel bay, which actually fits up onto the bottom of the kit cockpit. So what you have to do, glue the cockpit onto the wheel bay, and then you have to trim all that cockpit uh, area off. So I just cut it off and then uh, ground it down because there's just not any room in there for, for any extra stuff that you don't need. I also kind of sanded this area down just a little bit so it'll fit in here. But this fits in quite nicely 
took a lot of work to get this to fit, but it fits in there just like so. So it's almost a, almost a perfect fit. So what I'll do next is I'll glue this in here. Then I'll end up painting my cockpit, putting my seats in, and this slides up in here just like so. And it is pretty tight still, but I've got it about as close as I'm gonna get it. So that should fit in here just like that. And that's, uh, that's actually not a bad fit. Uh, a little bit easier than what I thought it was gonna be. I still need to do, when I glue it in there, it just takes a little bit of fiddling with it to get it to where it sits the way it's supposed to. But it fits in there pretty good. Just gotta play with it. And then what I can do is I can come along and I can, I can uh, glue this in. I'll probably use five minute epoxy so that's nice and secure inside of my front part of my fuselage. Well, you get the idea, but <laughs> it does it does fit in there. I just gotta play with it. Just like that. Yeah, it's pretty close. So anyway, I got that done. The instructions also call for you to put the uh, wing portion together. And in this kit, it's fairly easy. You've got the, the bottom half of the wings, and then you've got the top half, uh, which the bottom half also comes with the, the open missile bay. One thing that, uh, that I had to do were there are a lot of injection pin marks along these two pieces where they made up. You just got to uh, sand those off. And then you've got a pretty decent fit once that's done. I did come in with some sprue goo, which is still, uh, I put that on yesterday, so I should be able to sand it. There's a big seam that runs right along the edges of the wings here. So I just filled that in with my sprue goo, and I'll end up sanding that, and that should be good. Uh, one thing that it's kind of a pain in the butt with this kit is it's got the raised panel lines, so I am going to have to rescribe all these. And you can see the bottom portion, it's basically just a bunch of squares. So that's going to be not fun, but uh, but I'll get it done. I got some templates, and, and we'll work something out. But uh, I had to thin these walls down, and I still probably need to take off a little bit more right here. But this fits right along this top portion of the fuselage here. And it's a pretty decent fit. Like I said, I still need to cut that down just a little bit. There's a might be a little bit of gap right along in here where the missile bay is, but uh, I can take care of that, and I may do a little bit more tweaking. But uh, if if that doesn't take care of it, then I can I can probably fill that in. You're not going to notice it. So this will fit in here just like this. I've got my fuselage halves together, and it, and it uh, took out that warp. Just had to go slow. Now the instructions tell you to cut right along this panel line. And I would recommend checking before you do so because when I did it, I checked. And if I lined everything up up front, the panel line, you can see, probably see it better on this side. But the panel line is not exactly where you need to cut. Can see the panel line if you cut it right along that panel line you're going to be short a little bit and you're going to have a lot of filling to do so what i'm just going to end up doing is placing the fuselage up here where it needs to be at the front the resin part up against the the kit plastic i'm just going to mark on each side where it needs to be cut and that way i can, I can get uh i can get a better a better seam right there where i don't have to do as much filling so that's that uh, I'm going to get to work on probably getting the injection seats in here, painting up the cockpit, <laughs> cleaning up all the resin out of my <laughs> workspace here, and uh, I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.